Welcome to Eucanic today, here in Eucanic. We have a 2016 Jaguar F Type, and we are going to go over the process in which to replace your front brakes. So, uh, front brakes and rotors, as well as the, um, the wear sensor. This is on the left side of the vehicle, same procedure, it be on the right side of the vehicle. First, you're going to want to jack up the vehicle and support it on jack stands or blocks, and then be able to take the tire off, and we, then we get access to it. I turn the, vehicle, the steering wheel to the right to have better access to our brake caliper and the components that we need to take off. Get to this point where we have access to what we need. There is this little spring clip that we're going to want to pop off just to get a screwdriver. And we got to get the spring out from the front here. Same thing on the bottom side. There we go, pop that off. We will be reusing that. Now with that undone, you can do this also before that. But we're gonna put our screwdriver in here, which we are in between the rotor, and it's in the middle of the rotor. So we're gonna pull it toward yourself. And this way you can depress the caliper without needing to use a compression tool. If you don't want to do that, you can use the compression tool to be able to depress it. So we've gotten to that point. Now we need to remove the caliper from the carrier. So back here on the back side, we have one on the top. And on the bottom, there may be a dust cover. There's not dust covers on here. They are a size 9 millimeter Allen. We loosen and remove the uh, holding pin and the slide. It's all one unit. Now we'll be able to pull and remove this. This uh, brake right here is holding it a little bit. So we're going to need to use our screwdriver to just be able to get this pad to come out of the way. Now we're able to remove our brake caliper. And now we can just pop off these brake pads for the new ones. And we're going to hang this up here out of the way for the moment while we go ahead and take care of taking off the carrier to be able to remove the rubber. So the carrier is held on by two size 15 millimeter, and this is your wear sensor. We will be replacing that also. But the carrier is held on by two 15 millimeter, and so we will remove that. Our kit doesn't come with new glides here, so we are going to want to keep those um, slides on there. So now we're able to remove this carrier so that we can, in turn, remove the rotor. The rotor may have a little push clip here that is holding the rotor on. You would need to remove that, you, um, but it's not a necessary piece that needs to actually go back on. Uh, it just helps hold this in place while you're putting things together. You'll need to use some force of a hammer. So uh, removed our old rotor. Gonna clean this up a little bit. Some of that rust and corrosion off. Got our new rotor on. Now it's on backwards, but I'm going to give it a, a good generous spray a brake cleaner to clean off the oil that is on the rotor for the shipment and storage. Um, to prevent it from rusting, but we don't want it on there 
for our brakes to function properly. So due to the fact we don't have those clips that are going to help assist us hold this, you can use a lug nut. I have to use a little bit of a washer to be able to provide a spacer between it to hold this back. And this is just to help us in the um, installation process of our uh, carrier and caliper to just uh, keep this in place. So with that all um, reinstalled now, we'll be ready to put the uh, caliper on. I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. Okay, so we've got our carrier. Just going to be able to set it in there. We've got our size 15 bolts. So we've got the uh, bolts on there, um, carrier is attached. Now we need to put the uh, brake pads inside the caliper. So you're going to find your new um, brake pads. This is the way that they're going to look. We've got one with longer um, uh, tabs on it. These go into the side with the uh, piston and these go on the outside with the uh, smaller clips. You got to kind of push them toward the back because those long tabs and then be able to pull it in take your one for the uh, front side same snap that into place and when that's all good to go now we can be able to set that on there And then we'll take our glide pins, clean them up, small dab of brake caliper grease. So you're going to tighten the uh, those glide pins up. So we've come to this stage where we have everything put back on. We need to finish tightening the uh, glide pin bolts or the, the bolts, pins that are holding the caliper to the carrier, which are the size 9 millimeters. They're tight. This is for your ABS wheel speed sensor. Put that back in place. Last thing you want to do is you have this little piece, um, spring clip, that goes on the front here. And so you'll start the, uh, there's the two tabs on the front of it here. Start those in first, and then we take a screwdriver. Okay, so we just put the screwdriver in right here, pull it down around. We've got those two tabs that are on the bottom of that cover there, and we'll just try to do the same with this bottom side. There we go. It snaps back into place. That locks out that piece there. And so the last thing that you'll want to do is um, replace the brake pad wear sensors, and we will go through that process. So we have our, our brake wear sensor, it runs down through here and it clips into there. Well, if your brake pads wear, they wear the sensor out, then we'll go ahead and replace it. So you just remove, pull it out, and then be able to follow this cable back, pulling it out of all the uh, holders that hold it. And it's right back, right back in here. Right behind the strut there is a connector, you just need to squeeze and then be able to unplug 
that connector can replace it with a new one. So we have our new one here. Turn up the old one just to see that it's uh, relatively the same length. And then be able to just wire this in there. And this is the uh, little tab that wears off. And when that wears off, that's when it tells you that your brakes are getting uh, uh, catastrophically low. Time to change them. So you just press it into the little indent groove that is in the brake pad. And then you'll be able to follow this back. So you get in all the clips. Got your uh, brake sensor installed on your Jaguar F-Type. So that's how you would replace everything, being the brake wear sensor and the um, brake pads and rotors on your Jaguar F-Type. Thanks for watching Eucanic, where you can be the mechanic.